Previously on Tony and Troy Tony, Troy, and their friends arrived at summer camp and have started to tell scary campfire stories. Rick started out the fun by telling a terrifying tale of a boy who disappeared in the camp after being chased away by a loud roar from a bear. That evening, Rick and Jason head out to grab firewood, and Rick's story comes true. Jason is now missing. Now, it is getting later in the night and the group is sitting around the campfire. I'm really worried about Jason. Why hasn't he come back by now? Do you think he got attacked by the bear? Don't worry. He's gonna turn around sooner or later. That bear can't have caught up to him. How are you sure? Since when can humans outrun bears? Jason is a fox and he is fast. Call it intuition. I was there with him. He'll be okay. It's really crazy that everything you said in that story came out to be true, Rick. You shouldn't have doubted me in the first place. I didn't make these stories up. Now we know we have to be a bit safer out here, but we really should do what we can to find Jason. I agree. We can't just wait here and do nothing. But we also don't want to put ourselves in danger either. Last summer, I met my cousin. He told me about his best friend. He was a great prankster. He loved pulling pranks on his friends, family, and everyone around him. Oh no, we know who's the king of pranks around here. Austin's the master. Hey, I don't pull pranks anymore. Well, everyone was getting sick of his pranks. Water balloons, fart cushions, you name it. He pulled a prank on almost everyone. His friends were sick of it. They told him if he pulled one more prank, that he'd be in trouble and lose something very dear to him. From then on, he stopped pulling pranks. That's it? That is the lamest story I've ever heard. I was really getting my hopes up after the last one, Rick. Something dear to him? How cryptic is that? What is this, a video game? Get out of here. Come on, guys. It was a good story. Not. <laughs> Later that day, everyone was gathered around the table, ready to eat dinner. Hey, who took my chili fries? I had saved those for tonight. Careful, Austin. Didn't he warn you? You'd lose something dear to you. Those chili fries are long gone. Rick, I know you took my chili fries, didn't you? Is this a way for you to get back at me? I don't even like those. I got food poisoning last time I ate them. Why would I eat them? Troy eyes Austin with a suspicious look. Austin gets up from the table and suddenly falls flat on his face. The glasses on his face are broken. Oh no, my glasses. These are my favorite glasses. I love them. Austin bends over and looks at his feet. Both of his shoelaces were tied together. This isn't funny, guys. Who'd pull a prank like this? Well, you did lose something dear to you, so I guess the joke's on you. <laughs> Austin is annoyed. The group goes to sleep and decides to make a plan to find Jason in the morning. The next day, Tony and Troy get up early and leave a note on the table. We're gonna need some wood to start the campfire. Tony and I will go get it in the forest. We'll be back by the time you guys wake up. Tony and Troy head to the forest. So what's the big deal, Troy? Why'd you wake me up so early in the morning? We could have gotten wood any time of the day. We're not gonna be looking for wood. I have something else in mind. And what's that? I don't think Jason is missing. I think he's disappeared on purpose or something. And how do you know that? Well, for starters, I know that there aren't any dangerous wild animals on this campsite. I made sure to check that before we came on this trip. But even if there was one, the coincidence of Jason disappearing the same way as told in Rick's story is uncanny. I'm thinking someone's playing a prank on us. But that still doesn't explain why you decided to get me up at the butt crack of dawn. We're going to get to the bottom of this during the day. 
This gives us better visibility just in case there is something roaming out in the woods. Huh. <sighs> okay, fair enough. Tony and Troy walk through the entire forest. As they move into the area where Rick and Jason were attacked, they suddenly hear a loud roar. Oh no! It's coming! The bear is coming! Run for it, Troy! Tony and Troy quickly run back to the campsite. The roars intensify until the trees ahead of them disappear, the light blinds them, and they find themselves in the campground. Whew! That was a close one! What were you guys doing? We were just checking out the... We were collecting some wood. The bear caught on to us and almost attacked us. Luckily, we outran it. Oh, you shouldn't go in the forest without the proper supplies unless you want to get devoured by that bear. I am actually starting to worry about Jason. Just now? He's been gone for a whole day with no food or supplies. Either he is dead, lost, or hiding out somewhere. I know. That is why this is concerning. We need a plan to find him. Everyone ate dinner and went to sleep in their tents. In the middle of the night, Troy woke up Tony and told her to come with him. Are you kidding me? Now you want me to go in the woods in the middle of the night with limited visibility? It's the best time to go. Everyone is asleep, so now is the... Tony and Troy suddenly hear footsteps and see a shadowy figure tiptoe around the baggage. Shh! Follow me quietly! Tony and Troy follow the shadow. The shadow first checks everyone's bags one by one. Then the shadow picks up a few items and walks back to the forest. Tony and Troy continue to follow behind him unnoticed and trying to figure out what this person is up to. Once he is in the distance, and all alone, the shadow begins to walk casually as if the coast is now clear. Now's the time. When I say three, both of us jump him. One, two, three. Tony and Troy jump the shadowy figure. He struggles and moves around, but the two have him pinned down. Tony shines a light on his face, and it turns out to be Jason. Jason? What are you doing here? Are you the one causing all these weird things? Let go of me. Talk. It's the opposite. I'm here trying to figure out who's behind all of this. By hiding in the forest? Nice plan. Listen, Rick and I were scared off by the bear in the forest. Or so I thought. Rick made it back, but I was lost and being followed by the relentless bear. I kept running around for about an hour until I realized something odd. Why didn't the bear just attack me? After a while, I just realized the bear kept roaring fiercely at me, but wouldn't come near me. That is strange. I never saw any bear either. Just a lot of roaring. I saw you two yesterday, and when I watched from afar, I was able to figure everything out. Follow me. Jason took Tony and Troy deep in the woods. He showed them a tripwire on the ground, hidden by the leaves and shrubs. I stayed in the woods so I could figure this mess out and then come back. Now don't panic. Check this out. Just step on this wire. Tony steps on it, and suddenly, a massive roar was heard echoing through the woods. See? There is no bear. This is just a trap. Jason takes Tony and Troy over to a small tree. He shows a portable loudspeaker hidden inside it. Oh, so that's how it's making that roar. But who could be behind all of this? That's what I haven't figured out either. I think I've got it, Jason. Were you the one that kept coming to our camp to steal the food? Like Austin's chili fries? Yeah, I had to eat something. Besides, I love them. All right. Let's head back to the camp. They go back to the camp. Everyone is happy to see Jason again. Rick, I think you have some explaining to do. About what? I know about the traps in the woods and how you tied up Austin's shoelaces. You were behind this all along. How'd you? 
You're the only one who benefits from all this. Your stories turn out true, and it makes you look good. Come on, confess. All right, I planned all those pranks. You guys didn't take my stories seriously, so I tried to scare you. Well, you should watch it from now on. Poor Jason had the scare of his life because of your pranks. I know, I just... Okay, Rick, knock it off. Guys, I am right here. That wasn't me. A huge bear comes from out of the woods and lunges at the group. They split off and start running, but the bear was able to jump on Rick. Ah! Rick is fighting the bear off and screaming for his life. Ah! The group comes back and is laughing hysterically. <laughs> While Rick is on the ground fighting with the bear. Help! Help! What's so funny? The bear jumps off Rick. What the? Now how does that feel? Did you guys play this prank on me? It's a little taste of your own medicine. Well, who is this then? He attempts to pull the bear's mask off, only to realize it is a real bear. Uh-oh. The group all looks at each other in fear and takes off running. Ah! If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe 